Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7 on the Mysterious CG. Yeah, I don't know, it's it's weird. I, I I think there might be something wrong with my sound, because um, bass was definitely supposed to go <laughs> which I just, I just checked someone else's video of this game to see. And that's all I checked. I did not get like secret hot tips on Burst Man stage. Although I, I will say I practiced a little bit off screen using the awesome um, you can practice fighting bosses to make sure I could actually handle Burst Man because it would suck if I couldn't. Burst Man. He's here to burst your bubble, or rather, you're here to burst his bubble. He doesn't get uh, a name named stages like they had in Mega Man 6, but uh, if this isn't the capital of science, it's clearly a, you know, county seat of science, because we appear to be in giant um, test tube land. I can't remember. I know I've seen this mechanic. It, I guess this was in Mega Man uh, 6, or maybe it was 5. Yeah, this is definitely not... I'm pretty sure this isn't the first game of those. <laughs> I was also watching... Yeah, I've just been watching other people play Mega Man, which got me in the mood to try playing it again for the first time in a while. Um, and watching, like, a fan-made game called uh, Mega Man... R or it's called Rock and Roll, because you can play as Rock Man, a.k.a. Mega Man, or Roll, who's been given combat powers because of, you know, plot reasons in this fan game. Uh, I feel like if I try to get that using Rush, I'm going to screw it up. And I happen to know there's something we want here. We actually, you can't see, but I think we picked up, um, yeah, we picked up a new tank there. And those, uh, spinny floor items are, uh, if they can be killed, they can't be killed with Mega Busters, so... Let's do a checkpoint save. save it. I'm now basically committing to actually beating Burst Man, so we'll see if I come to regret that. You can use the triggers somehow to select weapons in this game, but apparently it doesn't work like that with uh, Rush Coil. I can deselect it, but not select it in that way. And, uh, oh, that is not actually... So we were supposed to go down, it's just we miss a one-up. Oh, I don't... I'm about to take a hit. No, I'm not. Uh, I don't think this game does... Yeah, this game doesn't do the thing where the weapon with the least energy... Or maybe there's an item that you can get that makes that possible. We just don't have it yet, but, uh... If I was desperate to get my Rush Coil ammo back, which I might as well, you do need to manually switch. Okay, and as ever in Mega Man games... Underwater physics means you can jump super high, and this is a much more dangerous death trap than it would appear to be. I guess I could just take... Oh! I didn't realize it was going to launch forward like that. Oh. Boo! I missed. Chance to get something out of that. This is probably a lot easier if you know which path you're going on. I was a little nervous there, but all you really need to do is get far to the left and you're fine. Yeah, now that I, I've kind of... I've committed. We have to beat Burst Man here. Um... Bad things happen. 
And by bad things, I mean I just, I've st stuck myself. Um, because the save states don't work quite the same way that they did. And, oh, I was wondering if this would be... So Rush Coil will obviously get us through this without using the blocks, should we so desire. But I, I appreciate introing this to people who might not have seen it before. Like if you're a, you never had an NES, the SNES is your favorite, or your first console, but you've heard about the Mega Man games and for some reason didn't get Mega Man X and Mega Man X2, or you did and you liked them so much you wanted to try Mega Man 7, then I don't remember if Mega Man X does these blocks. Well, of course that wasn't going to work. Okay. okay. As is tradition... They introduce the they introduce the blocks in a screen where you can't just fall to your death, and then fairly quickly give you a screen where if you miss the jumps, you fall to your death. Ah. Okay. That's a thing that can happen there. You you can die there. Some of these jumps are pretty unforgiving. I don't know if this is considered the easiest stage. I mean, I, I died there, but it hasn't been a particularly nasty Mega Man stage up to this point. But yeah, you really gotta get to the very edge of that block before you jump. have charged up charge. There's some particularly decorative spikes there. Okay, well, I guess we've got to collect rush letters in this game. I didn't specifically remember that, but it makes sense. Particularly want to, yeah. I was, I don't know how long I've got here. Um, if I, I, I probably could have tried to rush that along, if not for the hanging around celebrating that you acquired the letter R uh, that happened. Probably not worth going for that health. Yeah, Burst Man stage is all about water and bombs and death. Damn. I uh, thought I was far enough away not to take damage, but it wasn't much damage, so I think we're good. Oh, we're almost done. There's a classic 8-bit uh, Mega Man villain back. Looking a little less weird than half of the uh, Legend of... Why am I not climbing? Okay. Not looking quite as weird as half of the uh, Mega Man or um, Legend of Mana enemies look uh, when they're weird PS1 remakes of uh, NES enemies. Okay. Now, like I said, I, I admit I had to practice this one off screen. If you touch those bubbles, they drag you up to the ceiling and you die instantly if you touch the spikes. You can blast at them with the Mega Buster to try to get free, but um, if you get caught in the very first one, there's a real good chance you're going to die because when you blast free of it, you'll end up landing in one of the other ones. And it's only when you hit him with the charge shot that you knock him, you, you knock him back, which is useful when you're using this tactic. There, there are speedrun strats that are faster, but if you're just going to jump and avoid those and not like use extremely pre precise positioning and timing to keep him trapped in a pattern that you can control his movements, um, the charge shot is useful because it knocks him back. If he gets too close to you, he starts jumping and crowding you. Um, 
yeah, this, this fight goes a lot more smoothly if you can just kind of maintain a very specific distance. I say this like somebody who's studied this carefully. I haven't. I watched a speedrunner do it in a way I could never pull off. And then I practiced not getting killed by those bubbles. I had this other tactic. I was trying to, like, get caught in the bubbles and just, like, rapid fire press uh, the Mega Buster. And it's just, it's so many ways that that can go wrong. You just get caught in two bubbles in a row and you don't have time to blast your way out before you hit the spikes. Sometimes sliding gets you out, sometimes it doesn't. It wasn't a good scene, man. So uh, avoiding those bubbles and shooting them is a much better deal. Meanwhile, we're all glowy with power. The danger rap fires out a bomb encased in a bubble. Doesn't it? Well, it's not called danger rap, but I mean... Yes, but it can also be used to encase other things besides bombs. Okay, you want to be more specific? No, I, I really don't. You get Danger Wap. So that's a good thing. You know, that's, we should all be pleased about that happening. <laughs> I can't... Uh... Well, I mean, I suppose uh, thanks to the magic of the fact that I'm recording all of this, I can get this password back later by just watching my own video. But we're going to call it a video for now. Um... Oh, you know what? Here's something we can do before we call it a video. Let me show you why I uh, was actually, as ridiculous as this sounds, why was I doing a small amount of grinding, like less than an hour while watching Rift Tracks shorts? It might, it might have gone over an hour, actually. Because I kind of picked up positive a few times. I don't want you to get the impression that I had like a multiple hour grinding session for Mega Man 7. Although, grinding later to get E-Tanks is, I consider it fair play because this game gets pretty nasty difficult by the end. Um, but yeah. Welcome to Big Ed. I'm Otto. Dr. Light's a number one student. Yes, the story is named after Eddie. Otto does the speaking. He actually does all the work, but it's called Big Eddie's anyway. And Otto is a student. Unfortunately, I've lost one of my bolts, and so I have a rebellious dot dot, a couple of screws loose. If you find them, my uh, hopper bolt, I would appreciate it if you will bring it back here. Anyway, I'll try my hardest. I'll make items out of any other bolts you may find. Select the item you want me to make. So I think after we get the item bolt, or maybe it's after we've defeated the first four robot masters. I'm not sure. Yes, there are eight robot masters. That's something I didn't didn't make mention of. It's it's slightly odd compared to all prior Mega Man games. It's not the last Mega Man game. To, to do this, but um, so I guess Mega Man 8 worked the same way. Yeah, it gives you four initial robot, robot masters and then another four that are unlocked after you beat the first four, which I guess from a gameplay perspective, a game design perspective, means they don't have to really try to make the robot master stages all reasonably the same difficulty. They can, they can like, make the set, the last four robot masters have harder stages if they so desire. But anyway, we can get a one-up, extra life, we can get an eat can, we know what that does. W can recharges. It says it recharges the weapons energy. I think they recharge all weapon energy. I'm not absolutely sure. This is this is the exit item. It enables you to exit from the stage if you have already defeated the robot the boss. Then we get Beat's whistle. Beat's whistle doesn't do anything until we actually find Beat. Beat will come and pick you up when you fall in a hole. Because I think Beat is like needs to be found somewhere. He's like trapped. And again, a one up. So, um, the only thing that you can't acquire any other way, well, no, the exit, um, is actually available in-game if you just find it as, like, a hidden thing, but I don't know where it is. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually call it a video, check and see where that is, and decide, do I feel like spending 200 zenny points to just buy it now? Because, honestly, if I wanted to, I could just go through Burst Man stage, and this is for Let's Play purposes, I mean, I'm trying to make it kind of efficient, despite not being a great Mega Man player, I could just play through his stage and grab that E-Tank and exit and grab it again and exit, and I think he can only have like four in this game. It's not crazy. Like Mega Man 6, he can stockpile like nine E-Tanks. It gets a little ridiculous. In this game, it's a little bit more limited. So that is something I might do, and honestly, 200 to get the exit and then 
that would be it would be cheaper to just buy the e-tanks but it will also give me the ability to just do that again whenever it needs to and uh now that dualshock 4 battery levels are low i better just call it a video but when we come back next time um unless i find something cool that i can do in uh burst man stage that i missed um it's probably like we got the the hidden letter i don't know if there's anything else that's hidden uh we will be back to do cloud man stage see you then